So chapter 462 dropped earlier than expected. No, it actually didn't. I was just asleep. Anyway, for this chapter, I decided I won't make a full discussion because I've got a video coming up probably right after this one where I'm gonna talk about the first affiliate in general and how this will be the craziest arc in Lucasum. So how about we take some time to discuss Vinjin versus his victim and the rest of the fights in this arc. So as you all have probably already seen, the Allied came across Chon Tejin on their way to the second basement floor. And to be honest, I don't know what he was thinking, waiting for the strongest crew in Lucasm behind the workers all alone in some random fucking concrete room. I guess really just pre-ordered his ass whooping. Anyway, so there's a lot of people theorizing that Chon Tejin, otherwise referred to as Victor Vin Jin, is the man who killed Vin Jin's brother. But to be honest, I don't really care about making any theories for this fight, since it's probably gonna be one of the best in the series. So I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is. It starts off with Vinjan interrupting his victim as he's speaking and slamming his head straight into the unstable 700 year old concrete. It's then shown that he really is in this fight to kill and not to humiliate or anything of the sort. He wants to end this man's life and to be honest I'm here for it. This is the gangism we all know and love so I'm gonna cherish this execution all the way till it ends. Then Vinjan starts crying for some reason. This reason will likely be revealed in the next chapter when the fight actually goes down. Chon Tae Jin, the toilet paper enthusiast himself, then makes the grave mistake of revealing his weird ass tongue to the entire internet for free. I guess he forgot he was a Manho character or something. And honestly there was no better way of hyping this fight up than showing us that Vin Jin is not the only one coming to this fight with killer instinct, but his opponent is as well. That was sadly the last we got of the Vin Jin fight this chapter, but fear not, because there will be way more bloodshed for y'all in the next chapter to sip on and enjoy. So now let's discuss the potential fights coming up in this arc. And if I don't sound hyped at all, trust me, I just woke up, so it's not even possible for me to sound hyped at this point. Just know that I am though. To start off, let's list the people we have on our side, just to show how heavily outnumbered we are this arc. So we have Daniel and his OG body by the way, and then we have Jay, Zach, Hudson and GB Ohm, who are both under reconstruction right now, and g -Man who hasn't even trained since we last saw him. And I don't know if Vasco will fight or not, but he probably will considering he's got nothing wrong with him right now. There may have been a few more, but I don't remember them. Anyway, on the enemy team, we've got Daniel Park's second body, the bald version, meaning the sun is going to be reflecting the light off his head and onto his enemy's eyes, causing temporary blinding and severe retina damage. And then we have Johan and Samuel, Baekang Yul as well, who might fight, I don't know, and I hope he does to be honest, as well as Jin Young Park. Oh, and most importantly, Basement Hulk, who's in the process of killing Eli right now. So that makes 6 on our side, excluding everyone who can't fight, and 7 on the enemy side if Jin Young ends up fighting. So we're not really as outnumbered as I thought, and it would make it even if Eli Jang was able to take down Basement Hulk. So first of all, Zack vs Johan. This is an inevitable fight that will take place this arc, and let's not forget about the past Zack and Johan have with each other. And Zack finally beating Johan would honestly be such a cool ending to this whole fucking character arc between the two, as Johan was always considered really just the better version of Zack in the past. He would have to ask for a really huge trump card to take out a hormone injected Johan who just learned to copy Ultra Instinct from Daniel's second body. Speaking of Daniel's second body, we have Daniel vs Daniel. The showdown finally happens, or should I say, the harassment finally happens. Because this fight isn't even close to be honest, and I don't really think anyone thinks this is close, because it's basically Daniel fighting the better version of him. So from here on out, I don't really know who's fighting who, but either way, let's just look at the speculations. Honestly, I don't give a fuck who Jay fights this arc, I just want him to have a real challenge in front of him, and I think Hormone Injected Samuel would be the perfect prototype for that. From what we know, Jay had his own training arc along with the other allied members, and we've seen almost nothing of that other than in his fight with Ji Han. I just wanna see what this man can do, bruh. Now this is very interesting, because a lot of people are saying this fight is most likely to happen, even though I really thought Jin Young wouldn't fight this arc, but maybe I was wrong, I don't know. Maybe it's more special for Jake to fight Jin Young, considering he was a part of his dad's fist in the pre-generation, and if Jake really trained hard and learned how to fight just like his dad, fighting a copy genius who most probably copied his dad's fighting style and all of his crewmates would be a perfect challenge to see where Jake really ranks in this series to be honest. Anyway, I'ma leave the rest of these fights up to you all to speculate about and enjoy, so peace. Oh and by the way, before you kill me in the comments, I did forget about Mandiok and uh, fucking Yu Siong. For some reason I forgot that this is the last workers arc, which means that the people who are actually leading all of the workers will probably fight against us. I just got used to the format of like the second affiliate and shit like that, where we didn't really have Man Yuk fighting or like Yu Siong. But yeah, maybe they'll fight, maybe they won't. That's up to the author. Bye.